So today I wanted to look at the performance difference between retrieving an item in a list using link and retrieving an item in a dictionary with a bit of a real world example using a website of mine called uh, Visual Studio Tips. Uh, if you've not seen it, check it out. It looks uh, a bit like this. And at the moment it's got about 30 different tips for Visual Studio, usually keyboard combinations, but a couple of other things you can do in there. Um, I'm adding more of them uh, all the time. Now in that uh, code, I have got a, a method that looks a bit like this, where I've got an array of tip items and I've kind of known for a while that if I implemented that as a dictionary, I'd get a bit of a performance boost, but I thought I would just document doing that uh, and see how it goes. So that's what we're going to do. Right, so I need a new method called uh, public static uh, tip get from dictionary. Gosh, I spelled dictionary right. Top marks, right, okay. So I've actually written the code uh, for the dictionary part to replace this block, because I'm not going to rewrite that again. So let me just drag that in. Uh, can I do this? Sorry, my method's going to take an ID. I should explain that the ID, hang on, is that going to work? Yes, it is. Uh, I should explain the ID is part of the a segment of the URL which identifies the tip to, to return and bring back uh, for so slash code map would be that one for example. Okay, so that's my method. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, uh, that's, uh, I've started a uh, .NET Core console application here. Just output the timings, retrieve it the, via the list, retrieve it via the dictionary, compare the performance of both. It's, I could do it a bit more professional using something like benchmark.net, but this is pretty easy if your pants programming, so we'll just do it this way. Uh, so let's do uh, var oh, tip equals tips dot get tip. Uh, I'll also add a reference to, I wouldn't normally do this, but I'll add a reference to my MVC web application from my uh, console application. I wouldn't normally do this, but uh, for the sake of this, let's do that. Uh, tip ID. And let's get one from this list. Let's get one a bit lower down so that we're doing a bit of a traversal of that list, not just getting the first one of the first ones. Let's get that one. All right, so that's old tip. Let's get new tip. Get tip from, get from dictionary. Let's rename some of these, don't like them. First of all, let's fix that. Tip ID, let's fix that. Tip I, tip ID. Let's, I hate badly named things. Uh, get tip from list. Uh, rename is control RR, by the way. Uh, and you can read that on Visual Studio Tips. Uh, and then we'll call this one get tip from dictionary. Okay, that's not complaining, that's good. Uh, and then I'll do the stopwatch part. Uh, stopwatch one equals new stopwatch, which is in the system diagnostics, diagnostics namespace. Now you can actually do dot start new rather than instantiating it and starting it. Stop, watch one, stop. I 
could, I guess, suppose reuse the same stopwatch, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's do um, debug dot white line to output the results. Do a bit of string interpolation at the same time. And these are in milliseconds. Elapsed milliseconds. Let's just copy that. Okay, that's not complaining, so that might have a chance of building. See if that builds. Could just run that, I suppose. Okay, let's run that and see what it says. Right, time from the list, 98 milliseconds. Oh, I've copied and pasted the same thing. Hang on. I think I've spotted the surprise. Maybe not a surprise. Okay, for in the list, uh, it took 95 milliseconds, and from the dictionary, 4 milliseconds. That's at least 20 times this past my maths is right let's run it again again I could use something like benchmark.net to do this a bit more professionally but this is um, quick and dirty shall we say okay from list 145 milliseconds from dictionary 3 milliseconds so what have I learned I am probably going to rewrite this method uh, and use this uh, tip from dictionary and not use the list and uh, use don't use this smashing okay well if you enjoyed that i'm going to do a few more videos along this line i'll probably actually do a video for each tip in visual studio tips so that'll be fun uh, and if you enjoyed the video or indeed learn anything uh, heaven forbid um you can check me out on twitter and linkedin because i am on those uh, you can also catch me on my blog at manchesterdeveloper.com uh, and also I'm working on another site called uh, xamarinarkit.com. Thank you very much.